Hello and good morning. Welcome to your daily tarot read with me, Han, from Self Lost Self Care System. I'm going to be doing our daily readings today from the Ride Away, the original Ride Away tarot deck, conceived of by A. E. White and designed by Pamela Coleman Smith. I do love these cards. And for today, as ever, I'm going to be getting our Energy of the Day card. Our problem, if there is one, which was that card there, which tried to come out, and our solution for the problem, if there is a problem. As you know, may have noted yesterday, and if you haven't watched that reading, do check it out. We don't always have problems. Sometimes we just have solutions. So let's have a look. Okay, this is really interesting. Really interesting energy because you've got the eight of swords here. Let me double check. I have discalculus, so sometimes I look at it and I get it wrong. So it's two, four, six. Yeah, you've got the eight of swords here, which it, the eight of swords is pain. There's some kind of conflict, there's some kind of pain. You feel unseen, you feel unheard, you're bound up, <clears throat> you're separated from the energy, you're separated from what's going on, you don't feel happy. Now, however, you've also got. The King of Pentacles. How can you be in both these energies? You're not. It's almost a bit of a mirage going on here. What's going on here is some kind of pain story is coming up for you. I do want to point out that it is the 23rd of April and it's the full moon in Scorpio energy coming in. So for those of you stateside, it's coming in. For those of you who are in the UK or um, Europe, it's going to actually be on the 24th and probably New Zealand and that. 24th nearly 25th for them guys as well that's going to be a little bit different but the thing is that's what you're feeling you're feeling your feeling your wounding you're feeling your chiron you're feeling the things in your this is your astrological chart that would literally hold you back keep you hurt bring up your triggers so you may be feeling those triggers right they may be coming up and that's fine and that's to be expected okay in the energy of full moon in Scorpio, which is what it is, which will have its energy three days before the moon and three days after the moon. And that will affect you, especially if you have Scorpio, moon, ascendant, or um, ascendant. Okay, no, moon, so sun, sun, sun. And it will affect you if you've got that. Also, it will affect you if you've got personal points. I feel like I need to tell you this, which are naught to nine degrees of the fixed signs. If you want to know more about that, do check out my report i will put it on this video so it'll be up here somewhere so you can check it in check in on it the actual energy though is this is your wound in your shadow coming up this is your real space it's in the kingly pentacle energy which is monetary which is deserving which believes in itself which can have what it wants there may be a sense of being a little bit guarded about your money in this energetic frequency yet you are in that frequency today on the tuesday this 23rd of april even though scorpio's energy is there you know what's going on i also want to point out though Remember, Scorpio is about money. It tends to concern other people's money. So there may be some of that energy going on with you now or a little bit into the future. Do recognize that. Do check into that and ask yourself what that is. The energy for you, though, is a strong energy today. You are in place. You're feeling good. But you may possibly, because I do recognize with this, be letting that Scorpion energy and the energy of the full moon affect you just a little bit, which could be making you feel a little bit touchy, okay? But let's see the problem if there is one. I am really intrigued because you've got the magician. Now, I do feel that on the level of this and on the level of a Scorpio full moon, that magic would be coming through. Scorpio is a very alchemical sign. It's a water sign. It brings through water. It brings through the energy of water. You're being told, and I don't see this as a problem, Okay. Don't see this as a problem. However, the angels do want me to point out, because they're saying now, it could be a problem if you're going to use your magic in a dark way. Okay? Yeah? So you're going to be saying good words. You're going to be having good thoughts. You're going to be doing good things. Remember, magic on the dark side is just cursing someone or saying bad things about someone, judging other people. They're negative in that magical sphere, okay? In that manifestational sphere. Sphere. So they're asking me to say to you, step into the lighter magic, which is the higher energy of Scorpio and the higher energy of Taurus as well, because Taurus is the sun. 
So step into that higher. What can you alchemize? What can you bring through? What can you make manifest in your life so that things are better for you? This is what they're telling me to say to you, okay? They're saying it's very key that you step into this and you kind of love into this because this is going to give you a lot more than you had before, okay? Now, is there, well, there's no solution, my lovelies, because there wasn't really a problem. Um, however, this card does say something to me, and it's the two, four, so it's the six of swords. So, but the thing is, what I see here when I look at this card is that what's coming up for you in the Scorpio energy. Now, the reason I mentioned Chiron, I think I did mention Chiron, and if I didn't, I'm mentioning it now. Chiron is your wounding in your astrological chart, okay? Scorpio tends to bring it up because Scorpio is that darker energy. Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. It's ruled by the kind of underworld energy, you know, from death, rebirth, reincarnation, blah, 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 blah. It's all Scorpio, okay? But this is telling me that you are going to start moving away from that pain. You're going to start healing that pain. And this is something that's kind of aspected here in this today's reading, okay? It is time to start healing that stuff. It's time to move through it. Shift, shift your perspective, shift your energy, shift what you're feeling and move yourself forward. When you move yourself forward, you're gonna see things better. You're gonna see things from a clearer perspective. You're going to be moving out of pain into the light. You're taking a journey from one space to a new space. The new space is going to be just gentler for you, lighter for you, happier for you, more vibrant for you, sunnier for you. There's going to be a brightness to that. I want you to tune into this idea of the sunshine. Sunshine beating down on you, bringing you what's best. It may have been hard and you may have been huddled up and you may have been hiding away. But the energy of today's reading tells me to tell you guys no more it's not necessary just heal those aspects now i'll be honest with you this is going to be take a little bit of time to clear you're not going to be doing it overnight okay yet the angels are telling me to say be strong in the fact that you have this magical energy and this is where you're being taken to so there you go my lovelies remember you're stepping into magic and you're healing the wounding that is being highlighted for this full moon energy. And it's going to be so much better when you've healed that wounding. You're going to feel better. So there you go, my lovelies. If you do feel called, do hit me up um, on my website. Maybe do a booking with me. I'm doing these really cool so angel soul readings right now. They are um, readings that I do audio or written. You can check them out at www.selflosselfcaresystem.com and you can book that online and then I can send that through to you. You get a message from your soul and your angels telling you what you need to do next. And um, yeah, if you've got this far, please do give me a thumbs up because it really helps me as I move forward with this channel and it supports me. Also, I'm going to be doing a video at some point on here about why i keep going with this channel even though it's a small channel because many people want to be high flying youtubers but i want to explain why i think this is a good thing to be doing anyway my darlings if you haven't subscribed please do i'd love to have you on board do check out either of the videos that come up at the end because they may be something that you need to know because it's going to be the full moon report and the energies of what's happening namaste everyone have a beautiful tuesday and i will see you tomorrow Mwah. lots of love bye bye